I just want to take the, the one minute and address some of the priorities as it relates to the issues before us today as to why I'm running. I think there are four really important things that a governor needs to bring to these issues. The first is leadership. The governor needs to be an advocate for environmental protection as a core value of Minnesota. Secondly, we need to set a priority on protecting our lakes and waterways and clean water, particularly after the recent Supreme Court ruling that jeopardizes our ability to protect those areas. Thirdly, green energy is important, but we have to do it with accountability to make sure we're getting our value out of everything we invest. And lastly, we do need to get our financial house in order. Not every problem needs a government solution, but we need to have honest conversations around the difficult challenges and then address the problems through reform and smart policies. Speaker Kelleher. Well, thank you so much. Thanks to the sponsors. Thank you to all of you for being here. I was walking through the forum a little bit earlier. It is fantastic to see what's going on across the state. I think Minnesotans are looking for a proven, effective executive leader who knows how to get things done. And I am proud of the work that we did in, 2000, in 2007 to pass the renewable energy standard in six weeks after becoming the majority in the Minnesota House. Bipartisan work. And it is creating jobs across the state, but it's also, it's also changing how we do things across this state. We have been, and I have been, a champion of protecting our air, water, and land. And you need a governor who's going to keep those values very close and make sure that we live up to those values. In doing that, I learned to be a conservationist on the family farm growing up along the Minnesota River, and I also know what it means to get the work done to make sure that we have policies that are both going to be job-creating energy saving and be the things that are going to save our lake streams and water. Mr. Hahn. Thank you uh, for coming out today. It's, it's great to partake in these events. Uh, let me take just a, a quick moment to tell you a little bit about me and why I'm running for governor. I'm a small business owner here in St. Paul uh, and as an owner I've been a, an innovator, uh, a winner and a leader and I want to apply that to the governor's office and the reason I'm running is because this state needs fresh new leadership and I'm the type of person who can provide it. Uh, I'm not coming in as anyone connected to a party or to special interest. I'm a true outsider, but I'm smart enough to know I need to surround myself with people who know more than I in certain issues, particularly green issues, to be frank. Some things I say today hopefully you'll um, support, other things I'm sure you might not support. And there may be times where I say I just don't know, uh, but that's part of how I lead. And then finally, for those of you who are curious, I did take a poll of my supporters this morning, and they supported me wearing this green jacket to a green forum. I can tell you more about the story behind it later. Thank you. Mr. Intenza. Well, thank you so much. There is one candidate in this race who has made sustainability and the new clean energy economy the core of this race, and that's me. I grew up down in Worthington, in southwest Minnesota. I'm not running for office because I read a book and said, boy, it would be fun someday to be governor. I grew up poor. Lost my dad when I was 15. We lost our home. We had no health insurance. I understood the value of community because it's a community that made it possible for me, a guy with a name like Intenza, not a Johnson or uh, another sort of famous name in this state. This state gave me opportunities for a good education, and I understood that part of that is about sustainability. I was an environmental studies major in college 26 years ago at McAllister. I became an environmental crimes and white collar crime prosecutor at Hennepin County and put polluters in jail. And as a legislator, led on environmental issues. And now, as candidate for governor, I believe the clean energy economy, sustainability, conservation, that's our route forward to get this economy going at a time of a recession, and that's why I need your help. And Mr. Dayton. I'm Mark Dayton. I want to thank the, the Minnesota Environmental Partnership all of its members, all of you for being here today. I can't see you, but I know you're out there somewhere. The lights are shining in our face. You know, I think it's instructive who's not here today, the endorsed candidate of the Republican Party. You know, environmental protection should be, and used to be in Minnesota, a bipartisan or a nonpartisan concern shared by everyone. But as I learned when I was Commissioner of Energy and Economic Development for Minnesota way back in the, over a quarter century ago, and the Republicans in the Minnesota House, when they took the majority, tried to destroy the energy division. Why? Because we were advocating for alternative energies. We were advocating for conservation that would have reduced the profits of those who rely on the traditional most polluting forms of energy. 
And I fought that opposition there as I fought those in Washington for six years in the Senate who, again, you know, may give lip service to some of these concerns, but the bottom line for them is profits, and the way to reach that bottom line is by promoting the use as much as possible of the same energy-polluting devices we have today.